Oh. Are you in here? No. <coughs> Guess not. Damn. Let's try floor B then. These are the only locations on floor A. Then again, it's another case of everyone just charging through. It's been a while since I played this. I don't remember exactly how we split up to look for the boy in here, but I'm pretty sure we had been we had paired off with Phi when we did this before. Then we went to the pantry, and Phi went to the pantry. And the just team took the red door. We probably already searched that area pretty thoroughly. Then maybe I'll try the blue door. This is the treatment center. Ooh. Wait, no, we went through here. What am I doing? We did go through there, and this time we did. We went through here before we went to the, the bee garden. And this time we went to the rec room. Yep, this is exactly how we left it. Work! Where are you? Over here, right in the zero three. He's not here either. Where the hell did he go? Oh, Sigma. Oh, hi, Kay. Any luck? No, nothing. Can't find him anywhere. I see. What about you? Eh, never mind. If you'd found him, you'd have said something already. Indeed. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but he was not there. Hmm. Oh well. Let's head back to the Floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Well, did you find him? Sorry. You couldn't find him anywhere. I... I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah. We're it. I'm guessing you guys didn't have any luck either. Yeah. No clues or anything. Well, time for Alice to die. I don't get it. <laughs> With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Yeah, and this view of a... Uh, Quark is only a child. Branches to... It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. Search. Well, wouldn't we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Quark. Tenyoji's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when we had met. I could see tears glistening at the corners of his eyes. Just a moment I saw in them all of his pain, fear, and despair. It felt like someone had put my heart in a vise. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Fucking Dio. Hey! You guys, come here! Dio? What are you standing around for? They're in the crew quarters. What? Just come on! Well... 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 Uh, no! How... Your heart stops! Your bracelet comes off! There was a roaring in my ears. Breathing? Heartbeat? My footsteps sounded muffled, as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm. The only pulse I felt was my own. Being down, it was clear why. Something had been driven into her chest so far that only the hilt was visible. The entire front of her body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. I forced myself to swallow the stinging lump in my throat and turned toward Luna. 
unlike Alice, at first glance she seemed unharmed. I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however, and saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor sat an injection gun. Gee, who did we just see with an injection gun? I already knew what I would find. I pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. There. They're dead. My god. What on earth happened here? That bastard killed them! What? Who? Whoever it was that killed the old lady in the A-B room. You're saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. The... I feel like in the green door route, we had... The gun was loaded with tubocurabine? And in the blue door route... Or I should say... And this now... We... At least... When we saw the gun from Dio, it was loaded with something else. That's pretty far-fetched. Look. Look at Alice's clothes. No sign of a struggle. Just... But I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. You mean the killer is one of us? Do you think there's someone else in here? Well, do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? Hmm. Oh, give me a break! I can't just sit around here talking! No point in making a fuss. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer! Hmm. That's rich coming from you, Dio. I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. Then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? Yes, actually. I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Why do why you need to get so defensive if you didn't do it? Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, shit. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. So if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally. Guess that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. Mmm. They killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be? Quark and myself. Oh. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? I just yeah. did. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the A-B game. Are you an idiot? Yeah. How do you explain Alice? She's playing against Kay, not me! Well, I didn't uh, do it. Not quite. Even without his partner, Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Yeah. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... What? True. I suppose that is a possibility. I'll take out Alice and Sigma. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. Yeah. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. We're getting into some extreme speculation. We should probably head back to the warehouse. We should take their bracelets with us, then. Huh? Do they really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. 
You're pretty calm, pal. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. But I await your further insight. He wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps? What did you just say? Are you fucking with me? Yes, I am indeed fucking with you, Dio. Knock it off. Is there really any point to arguing about this? Nobody has pointed out the obvious case of we caught Dio with an injection gun, and Dio left with an injection gun, and now there's an injection gun that killed Luna. Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. We're not going to get into that. I apologize. No you need. should return to the warehouse. Dio Please. deserved it. Come on, Clover. We gotta go. No! What? I'm not going anywhere. I can't just leave her here. Well, Clover? If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? Ah. He's got six BP right now. If you don't vote, you will automatically ally. And I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. That'd be three points, which will put him at nine. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number nine door. I'll try and pick Ally, of course. But Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have nine points? What are you gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Hmm. Fine. I'll do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Good. Girl. Good. Let's go. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, looks like we're getting into polling territory now. Took a deep breath and unlocked the AB. No matter how hard I looked for answers, all I found were more questions. Who'd killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quirk? I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with Zero's ridiculous games. At this point, I didn't really have a choice. I heaved a silent sigh and started toward the entrance to my AV room. Oh. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. Oh, eh? You have five BP. If we both ally, then you will gain two points leaving you with seven in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another two points, bringing you to nine. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain three points, for a total of eight. In other words, you will be unable to reach nine BP until the round following this one. Either way. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. Mm. True, but... How many points do you have? Me? As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AB game. I mean, you should have 6 BP right now. You betray me and get another 3. You get all the way to 9 this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. Hmm. But you picked Betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety. As I only had three points at the time, the prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have six BP, I have some room for error. Fair. Why wouldn't you want to get out of here as soon as, as soon as you possibly could? Of course I would like to. But attempting to do so would be unwise. Why's that? Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. What? Uh, huh? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? The number nine door only opens once! Ah, uh, yep. Once that opens, it's all over! Oh, 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 oh. You're all after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you'll be stuck. I trust you remember now? So someone who did it escapes. Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Hmm. 
Yeah, hey, don't tell me you're planning to, to just leave us all in the lurch and take off by yourself, even though he just said he wouldn't. I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? No. Well, no. Of course, of course we'd stop you. You see? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. I mean, in your case, Kay, you could just offer to stay at not go in your AB room. Then again, there's, there would be the, the question of uh, how do we actually confirm that you don't go in your AB room when we have to go in our AB room to enter a vote? Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Uh, yeah, of course. You too. Well, okay. Guess we're doing this now. Thirty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. I'm gonna have to pause this recording to actually do my own poll. We will be back in a half a day, probably. We are all out of time. Kay had made a compelling argument, but I still had to make my choice. Would he really choose to ally? If I chose ally and he chose betray, he'd have nine points and I'd have two. Still, even if he did have nine points, he might not try to escape right away. It seemed reasonable that we could probably trust him there. The question was, how much could I trust him? How much trust could I give a man whose face I'd never seen? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zoosh! Skidoosh! And the votes are in. And it looks like a fair portion of you do not trust K. Which is understandable. 66% to 34%. Looks like we're going to be voting Betray for the first time in this playthrough. Sorry, Kay. Here's hope. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Here's hoping we uh, don't die violently for this action. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Sorry, Kay. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Who's here? Vi's here. Dio's here. Clover, Tenmyo, G. Okay. Vi, Dio, and Clover? Oh, okay. Ooh, oh no. Oh, ah, uh, oh! Oh, shit! That means Quark's got nine. That means we're in the same boat we were before. Fucking K. Fucking K! So you picked Betray. Leading to a draw, it would seem. Indeed. You don't feel bad about it or anything? I could ask the same of you. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> I had thought that you would choose Ally. 
If I had, then you'd have 9 BP right now, wouldn't you? Nice try. I'm not gonna let you get out of here that easily. As I told you before, even if I were to reach 9 BP, I would not necessarily leave immediately. I might choose to wait until everyone else had also reached 9 BP. Yeah, well, I considered that. Didn't seem likely. Then you do not trust me. Not completely. Well... No need to apologize. Trust must be earned in a game like this. Says the guy who told me to trust him so he could, so he could betray me. <laughs> Indeed. Clearly, I don't deserve to be trusted. Or perhaps you didn't trust us either. Honestly, it's refreshing, but it's really not the brightest move. <laughs> so you chose Betray too, huh? Well, yeah. You just picked Ally. I'd have 9 BP right now. Why on earth would I have done that? There's no way Clover would have chosen Ally when you had a chance to betray her and get to 9 BP. Are you an idiot or something? Yes. <laughs> just smart asses. <laughs> So you chose Betray? Of course. Luna... Luna's bracelet is ah. off. Yeah. No that is fair. Right now. That brings Quark's BP up to 9. So wherever Quark is, Quark could just... Might try and get out? Quark could just walk the fuck out of here. Well, if he were to do so, the rest of us would be trapped here. Including you. Hmm. Bet you're all pretty happy he isn't here right now, aren't you? Whoa, whoa, nobody's saying that. Yeah, maybe you aren't saying it, but I know what you're thinking. Really? The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. All right. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Okay. The same... As many times as we want, huh? That means we can play the AB game over and over using these star keys, right? So it would seem. All right. Well, where do we find them? Beyond the next set of chromatic doors. Oh? You found them already? Yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell you guys. Take a look at the map. They're even color-coded. There are three white doors in the 4B warehouse. White doors, huh? Maybe that's where Quark went. How could he get there, though? Then again, where else is he? So, I can the see both sides. The 4B, you said? Yeah. But you're not going to be able to get through them until they open. Which is in... An hour 21. We've still got more than 80 minutes until that happens. Damn. We will need to form groups of colors that can make white. Time we had a look at all our colors, then. Yeah. Looks like they've been shuffled around again. It's like I'm a... Uh, blue Solo. I'm a magenta. Pear. Mm. As am I. Ooh. You and me, huh? Better than Dio, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ironic, since considering the green door path, the uh, Phi one. K was paired with Dio. You say something. What color are you? I'm a green solo. Oh. Uh, What's with the sign? That means Fi. That means Fi and K have to pair up with Dio. I'm guessing. Forget about it. What about you two? Cyan pair. I'm a cyan pair too. Oh, it's handy. Alice and Luna's bracelets have changed as well. Both yeah. of them are yellow pairs. Also convenient. And what color is Quark? He's a red solo. In order to open the white doors, you yep. normally need, Magenta say, and green. red, blue, and green. 
So those can't group together, right? That's why the pairs are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Magenta is a mix of red and blue. Yellow is a mix of red and green. Cyan is a mix of blue and green. So if you combine magenta with green, you get white. And so on. I see. Okay, then. We just need to get to the Floor B warehouse when the doors open, right? I'll be taken off, then. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere that isn't here. Hanging out with a murderer doesn't sound like a good time to me. I mean, you're hanging out with yourself, The guy so. who insists on splitting up is usually the first to bite it. What? Well, then again, loners often turn out to be killers. <laughs> what are you getting at, old man? You think I kill him? Well, maybe, maybe not. But you're pretty damn suspicious. I'm still waiting for someone to ask about the fucking injection gun that he took back. You're trying to start something, you wrinkled old piece of... And has now been found at the s <laughs> scene of the crime. Hey, knock it off. We don't actually know one of us is the killer, do we? If we do I know that Dio was carrying an injection gun, which was found having killed Luna. We have no evidence of that, no. But we do know that Zero Senior is one of us. We know that Dia was carrying an injection gun, an right? There's excellent chance that Zero Senior and the killer are one and the same. Why did he kill Alice and Luna now? If Zero Senior wanted any of us dead, he could have done it way before this. While we were, I don't know, unconscious, for instance. What's the point of setting up this whole game just to kill off two of your participants halfway through? When then are you saying there's another person in here somewhere? Maybe. Possible. I think it might be a good idea for us to all look for the killer. Well, we gain nothing by standing around here. Yeah. I've got to find Quark, and soon. If we're going to search, we should go in pairs this time. Agreed. How are we going to pair up, then? I'm not going with Kay. Too bad. If he decides he feels like snapping me in half, there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it. Good. I'll go with anyone besides Dio. I don't want to go with Dio either. <laughs> Everybody hates Dio. Fine. Uh, He's hardly my first choice, but I'll take Dio. Thank you for your sacrifice, Fine. The hell? Just figured that this way we don't have to make this into a huge argument. Besides, I'm going to be stuck with you once we go through the chromatic doors anyway. No reason to put it off. I will go with Sigma. Okay. Oh yeah? Would you prefer someone else? No, I guess you're okay. I guess you're okay. That leaves me and Clover as a pair then. Yep. Yep. Looks like we're all set. Hmm. We'll take the cyan door on floor A and the blue door on floor B. That still leaves uh Still leaves Clover and Tenmyoji as the pair that get themselves fucking killed. The... All right, Clover and I'll take the magenta door and the red door. Okay, so they go through the lounge. <laughs> that leaves us with the yellow, yellow and green doors. Then, once we're all done, let's meet at the Floor B warehouse. All right. Got it. See you later then. This is technically our first time here this route. This is where the atom is that scans everything else. There's no one in the infirmary. No quark and no killer, at least as far as I can see. Well, there is someone here. Oh. Technically, at least. Her. The yep. old woman. Yep. Oh yeah. She was lying silently on the bed, furthest from, furthest away from us. If it weren't for the blood stains on her chest and arm, her peaceful expression would have fooled most people into thinking she was just asleep. Blood had dried and darkened, and now looked like any other stain. That was when I noticed it. Oh. Huh? Wait a minute. Look at her wrist. It seems remarkably clean. Mm. Yeah. For some reason, there's no blood on this part. 
Maybe she had something on her wrist. Oh. Ten Miyoji went through this part on the green door route. That's why he started spraying people's bracelets. Because his conclusion was that someone, that the old lady was wearing a bracelet, and the killer took it. A watch, perhaps. A watch? Yes. It was likely removed after she was killed. That would account for the lack of blood splatter on her wrist. A watch, huh? I don't know, it just looks like it was kind of wide for a watch. Aren't women's watches usually thinner? You raise a good point. Perhaps it was some kind of jewelry? Jewelry? You mean like a bracelet or something? Of course! Why didn't I see it sooner? This is the same size and shape as our bracelets. Look, look, it, it's exactly the same width. Then that would mean... She was wearing a bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant, just like us. Are you sure? This old woman, a player in the nonary game. Okay. Something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. If you're correct, then where did the thief hide the stolen bracelet? We were quite thorough during our earlier search, but I know that I saw nothing, and none of the others reported finding a bracelet either. Correct. And that means they've been holding on to it this whole time. They probably still got it. That would seem likely. No, wait. They've been carrying it around. The sensors in the chromatic doors would have picked it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the secondary door would never have opened. So our suspect is not only a killer and a thief, but a skilled imposter as well. What are you saying? After killing the old woman, they put on her bracelet. In fact, it is entirely possible they are wearing it still. Yes, that would make sense. So the killer is running around with the old woman's bracelet? Yes. And you're telling me they're probably wearing it? Correct. Do you remember what Zero Jr. told us? Something about how the bracelet will come off if the wearer's heart stops. I don't recall the exact words. But in any event, once the old woman had died, her bracelet would have detached, allowing the killer to easily collect it. Why? So that they could participate in the nonary game, I imagine. What? I suspect the killer was someone who was not originally intended to be a participant. For whatever reason, however, they were willing to go to great lengths to ensure that they were. To that end, they killed the old woman, who was one of the original participants, and took her place. Why would someone do that? That? I have no idea. Certainly they must have a goal of some sort. You would have to be mad to choose to come here. But as to what that goal is, and how the killer intends to achieve it, I'm afraid I do not have even speculation. Hmm. That's... interesting. Have you noticed something? Oh, there's blood all over the old lady's arm. Except for right here. That's where the bracelet was. And the bracelet the killer stole should have... should have blood on it. Right. And none of us is wearing a bloody bracelet. Sigma, please tell me you're kidding. The killer <laughs> would have, of course, wiped the blood off. Only a fool would walk around with a bracelet covered in blood. So you're saying they cleaned it? Yes. Hmm. Have you discovered something? There was luminol in the rec room. Hell yeah. Okay. I know how we can identify the killer. Oh? Just need some of that luminol. Doesn't matter how well they cleaned it. There should still be some traces of blood left. Aha, uh -huh, I see. That could very well work. We should have everyone gather in the rec room then. That is where the luminol was, I believe. Yeah. 
First, we need to finish looking for Quark, though. We've still got the infirmary and everything beyond the green door. Once we're done with that, we can head back to floor B to meet up with everyone else. Understood. Shall we go, then? Sure. This take us. If we get down, there's three doors here too. The same as what we found on the other side of the blue door. But there's two doors open. Looks like two of them are already unlocked. So it does. The center and rightmost doors both say open. Perhaps the layout here is different. This is interesting. Hmm. Whatever. Let's take the door on the right first. That's gonna take us to the golden way. But didn't Dio say that he went into the treatment center? So where is this gonna take us? Huh. What's this room? That looks like a workbench of some sort. Maybe, but what sort of work? Well, we're here to find Quark, not look at a workbench. Go check out that far end, alright? Very well. Nothing. He's not here either. Hey, Kay. How's it going over there? Kay. Can you hear me? He was bent over with his back to me, peering underneath a thing that looked like a workbench. No golden this time. What the hell? I walked toward him as I spoke. Hey man, what's going on here? Oh, nothing. I bent down and saw he was staring at something that appeared to be a safe. Oh, it's empty. Yes. Is there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. Was it? Yes. What are you doing staring into an empty safe? I was... thinking. Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. Hmm. Wouldn't that have been the team that went through the green door? I think that was Dio Fine Clover. No, that's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. Yeah. The nameplate on this door says this is the Gollum Bay, however. So you're saying they didn't go here? I believe that is the case. Which, as you can see, is why I was puzzled. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open the safe, who, who did? did? Hmm. Well, there's no point thinking about it. There's no, there's no golem on the workbench. There's no... Auxiliary golems uh, hanging out. We should get back. Yes, and there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yep. Let's get moving then. Is this only here because we cleared the golem bay already? Let's see what's in the treatment center then. The other curious thing is that the plug that fit into Kay's head would be also found in the Golem Bay safe. So this is the treatment center, huh? This is the room that Dio visited. Don't you think that's kind of strange? Until now, all the chromatic doors have led to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on the other side of the green door? An excellent question. Nah. You can talk to the others later, I guess, and see if they know anything. 
can, I split up and began to look for places where Quark might have hidden. Or small holes he might have escaped through. Jellyfish. Metroids. Clock. Door. Huh? What are these? Why is that one screen blue? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. The windows are all covered with frost on the inside. Can't see in. Shall we open it? Yes, might as well. Have at it. Are we going to find Quark? Are we gonna find... Ah! There he is! Quark! No brace... No. No. Oh no! It's this bracelet. It's oh god! Hold on, Sigma. Calm down. Look at his chest. Can you see it moving? B what? Quickly pressed a finger to Quark's wrist. It was faint, but his heartbeat was there. He's he's alive. He's alive! <sighs> what a relief! I'm so glad to know he's safe. laughed out loud and grabbed Kay in a bear hug, or at least as much of one as I could manage. He patted me on the back and shared what I thought might have been a relieved chuckle. Relieved chortle. If he's still alive, why is his bracelet off? Obviously hibernation. Zero Jr. said it would only come off when he died. Perhaps Zero Senior took it off? What? Why? I have no idea. Then maybe Zero Senior brought Quark here and put him in this pod thing too. Well, even if he did, I don't know if anyone would know why. This pod is for medical treatment. What was Quark, Quark being? has contracted some sort of illness. What was Quark being treated for? He's sick. What has he got? How would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. Yeah, I bet. Think we can carry? You can carry him, or no? I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. If besides, he... as I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. Why ever? Why ever he's here? He's probably here for a reason. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. Indeed. The treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. Oh. I'll close the pod's cover then. Is that all right? Uh, yeah. Sure. Wait, um, I, I just thought of something. Are you sure he's gonna be all right? What do you mean? Well, what happens if he wakes up? Can he open that thing on his own? He'll be fine. I noticed a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. If someone locks him in, he's screwed? Yes, that is what I said. But you needn't worry. You see? I have not engaged the lock. Hmm. Now, we should return to the Floor B warehouse. I imagine the others are already there. Right, yeah. Okay, let's go. This is turning out unexpectedly well. This is also turning into some kind of... Oh, wow. This is also turning into some kind of Ever-17. Nonsense. How did Quirk get in there? Is You're this late. where he was in the green door round? How are there two doors open? Is that door open because we went through it in a different timeline? You're one to talk. How much earlier did you get back again? <laughs> I'd be surprised if you searched at all. Is this is it? Yeah. Clover and Tenmyoji still aren't back. So, find anything? Yeah, we sure did. Yeah? Well, go on, spill it. With the, we should leave lead with We Found Quark! I explained to them how we'd found Quark in the treatment center. I see. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Jerk, making us all worried. There is more. And that is? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. 
Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment pod. Will he be all right? I am not a doctor, Fine. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably. Probably? Do you even... I'm not a doctor either, kid. Whatever. Hey. At least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I see. How kind of you to say so. Meh. <laughs> so, was Quark all you found? The way you were talking made it sound like there was something else. Well, kind of. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I'll explain that after Tenmyoji and Clover get back. Hopefully they're not dead. Something I wanted to ask you about first, though. When you went through the green door, you searched two different rooms? Two? No, just the treatment center. I see. But what was the other one? What do you mean, the other one? You know, where the... that intersection with three doors? When Kay and I went there, two of the doors were unlocked. You guys unlocked the one that went to the treatment center when you went through the green door. But the other one... Who could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. It's fair. Could it have been Zero Senior? I don't know. Hmm. Zero Daddy. So did you and Kay go through the other door? Yeah. What was in there? Nothing, really. It appeared to be some sort of room for servicing something. That doesn't make any sense. So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? We sure as hell don't. Uh oh. Tim, Miyoji, and Clover are running rather late. Should we go and look for them? Uh, no, there's something I wanted to check first. It's never easy with you, is it? Nope. Well, let's get it over with. Oh yeah, Luminal? Hmm. This could be a problem. Huh. This is the rec room. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? I said nothing. Instead, made my way over toward the cabinet. Inside was the luminol. Reached in and pulled it out, and headed to the light switch and flipped it. The room went dark. I headed back to where the others were still standing. Whoa, whoa, what is this? You gonna start telling ghost stories or something? Yes. Why, are you scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? And show me how brave you are, Dio Daddy. Stick out your bracelet. You too, Fi. Please. Our bracelets? Yeah. I want to see the underside of that. What do you mean by that? I mean the side on the bottom. Side that doesn't have the display on it. Come on. You're really gonna make me explain this. I know what you mean. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're... Just do it. It's not hard. Should I also participate? Uh, no, you're fine, Kay. Your bracelet is a little different from ours. I'll join in just to make it fair. There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Fi stuck out their arms. I held mine out as well. Wrist pointed upward. This okay? Yeah. Just hold it like that for a moment. As I could, I pulled the luminol from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Ugh. Cold. Whoops. What the hell, man? Ghost spray. Dio jerked his arm back with a shout. Don't see anything glowing. Not on us. Fi's bracelet is clean. That was mine, of course. That leaves only Dio. Dio? Wait. What are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Dio? Show me your bracelet. Dio? Something wrong. Just show it to me. Come on, Dio. We don't have time for this. Why do I have to do what you tell me to? Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Well, like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for. But you're not going to find it on me. Then just show me your arm. No! 
Yeah, you got something to hide, do you? You don't get to order me around. I have rights. Really? You have really? As he spoke, do you mean a break for the exit? You didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. <laughs> he spun around toward the other exit. Stop him! Right. Don't know oh, what you're yeah. talking about, but okay. Gang tackle. All three of us left a deal. Oh shit! Oh, I knew it. His bracelet's glowing. And that means. Let me go! Get off of me, you fuckers! Dio, you killed the old lady. No, you don't understand. This is all some kind of a mistake. Really? Shit! What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fi what Kay and I had noticed on the old woman's wrist. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Yeah, exactly. Even if they'd wiped it off, I figured the luminol would still react to the blood. Looks like I was right. We've got you, Dio. Might as well confess. Well? I'm waiting. <laughs> Alright, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Why? Are you Zero? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to... to do... something. Something? To do what? Who gave you this order? I'll die before I tell you. So your orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives? Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. Injection gun? That wasn't you. Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. Where would we put it? Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Ah. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait. I'll be good, I, I promise. Yeah, I think you're onto something, Kay. Let's go with that. Come on, please. Hey, listen to me. We'll let you out when the white door is open. Someone's gonna need your bracelet to open the secondary door. Don't fuck with me, you guys. There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing. Oh? Let go! Let me go! God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go! You can't do this! Stop! Stop! Please stop! Please! No, you can't! I'm concerned. Well, go to sleep, Dio. Open this fucking thing! <laughs> night, night, Dio. See you never.